Welcome to this presentation about Add Instruction in Assembly Programming. Add Instruction has the following format Add, Destination Operand, comma, Source Operand. The Add Instruction tells the CPU to add the source and the destination operand's value and put the result in the destination. That's mean the value which is replaced in source operand, it will add it to the destination operand by using add instruction. In the result, the destination will be the previous value of destination operand added with a source value. The result it will replace in destination. The source value it will not change by using add instruction. The destination operand can be register or memory location. Register we mean AX, PX, CX and so on. The memory location we mean the value between the brackets for example 500. The source operand can be an immediate value which means hexa value and register value or memory location also. Two memory operands cannot be used in one instruction. For example, add the contains of 502 with the contains of 500. It's not allowed in assembly programming to use two memory locations in one instruction. When an immediate value is used, as an operand, it is signed extended to the length of the destination operand format. For example, using add one word of value with one byte, which is AL. The size of source operand, it's one word, but the size of destination operand, it's one byte. We know that one word it means two bytes. So this is also cannot be used in add and subtraction. Now to add two numbers such as 25 and 34 in hexa, each number can be moved to a register and then added together. Because it is just one byte, we can use any register. For example, move AL25 and the second value we can move it to BL register then we can choose any register BL or AL to put the result. Let's use AL for storing the result. So that's mean we, we should write add AL BL. Now the result it will store in AL register. If I want to store the result in BL, we can write add BL, comma AL. Now, what's the value of AL after executing this instruction? The value of AL is equal to 25, which is the previous value of destination value, and the value of BL, which is 34. After executing this instruction, the value of AL it will be the summation of both two values, which is 59, but the value of BL there is no any change. It will stay the same value. Now let's take another example. Write the assembly language instructions to add the value B6 in hexa and 8A in hexa. Place the result in AX register. The two value, they are one byte. But the question said, place the result in AX register. So that's mean we need to reset the value of AX. We won't move 
AX0,0, zero, zero, that means we reach the value of A low and A high. Move one of the values to AL register, B6 in hexa. We can directly add this value, which is 8A, with the value of AL. After executing this instruction, the value of AL, it will be the previous value of AL, which is 6B, with 8A. So, what's the value of AL after executing this instructions? Let's calculate the value. So, B plus 8 in hexa. So we know that in hexa, it will start from 0 up to F. After that, it will reset again, but the second value, it will be 1, and so on. So let's calculate after B. We have 8 digits after B. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That means it's 13. And carry 1. Now, 6 plus A and carry 1, that means A plus 7. Here, the A value. After A value, we should count 7 digits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That means 11. So the result it will be 11, 113 in hexa. But in instruction, we used add AL with this value. That means just one byte it will store an AL, which is 1, 3. Now, what about this value? We should execute the program to understand where this value it will be replaced. To write this program, we can choose any address to write our program. For example, 100. Now, same program. In execution, the first instruction move AX00. Now, this is the first instruction. The next instruction move AL6B. Now, this is the value of AL. The next instruction add AL, which is B6, with 8A in hexa. So, here the value of AX. Now, where is the value of 1? You can see here there is no carry, no carry, but here in last instruction, the carry is on. That means carry flag equal to 1. If there is no space for the carry in any register, in the instruction, the carry value, it will go for carry flag. You can see that uh, no carry, that, here also no carry, that means carry flag equal to zero. Let's execute the same program by using AX instead of AL. So just I need to change this instruction. No need to write it again. So the program starts from 100 up to 107. To display my program, we can use U instruction from space 100 up to 107. Press enter. So this is our program. Now I just want to change this instruction. So where is this instruction? The instruction is in um, 105. So 
just I will write a zero seven two a and zero one hundred and five. Press enter. Now we should enter the new instruction. Add space ax comma a h press enter now finished again i will display the instruction which is same u from 100 up to 107 now our instruction it's changed to ax same instructions just instead of writing again the same program i changed just one step now let's to execute it t equal to 100 so the value of ax it's zero zero and then t enter now the value of al it would be uh, b6 in hexa now add a 8a with ax so t enter let's see what's the change now the value it will uh, store in ax which is 113 and it's not go to the carry flag now there is no carry now you will asking why the carry is on here because this is the previous value there is no change from the last instruction then it will be no carry that's mean this addition operation there not result carry after executing it so it's important to make the destination operand bigger in size from the source operand if the source operand is one byte we should use one word that's mean two bytes so al we should use ax instead of al should be ax because we want to save the carry also I hope everything is clear for you and this is the end of part 1 about add instruction in assembly programming. Thank you for your attention.